Good evening and welcome to Lennoxville. Somewhere in that mass of fog there are lacrosse players and there are lacrosse players who are fighting for first place in the league standings tonight. John Abbott taking on Champlain. Lennoxville Abbott winning the first head-to-head -head by a score of 9-7. That was the first game of the season. And since then, both these two teams have traded multiple double-digit victories. But this is the matchup that everyone had circled. Abbott beating Bray Buff 11-1 last week, and the Islanders immediately in control of the ball as Alessi brings it in for, the, for Abbott. That's Bareshi, sorry, 15. Islanders in yellow with blue and white trim playing left to right. And Lennoxville in the blues. Champlain a 23-0 win over Dawson last week here at Coulter Field. And the Islanders control. Ball's at X. This is Alessi, number 16 in yellow. And that is a needless turnover for the Islanders. Well, in the early going, you see like that, that fog might be pay paying some dividends a little bit later on because of the fact that well, the Cougars throw it away here. There you see one unforced error after another, and Abbott will be in control. Ball's at X left. Lennoxville has a late man coming onto the field, and the Cougars pick it up. We got a possession call coming up here against Lennoxville, but Abbott picks it up. Like we said, this was going to be the matchup. In fact, out of all the games that have happened this year, Abbott's 9-7 win over Lennoxville in the season opener is the only game to not end in a double-digit score result. Every other game has been a blowout in any facet, including the Bray Buff 16-4 win over Dawson. And whoever comes in first place gets a bye to the final. You know, neither of these teams want to play uh, Bray Buff in the semis, and that is a pass. Lennoxville in possession. Fisk. Xavier Fisk. Gets it up to his tender. And Fisk takes the return feed. Xavier Fisk bass to his tendy. <laughs> and now Lennoxville has it on the far side. You can tell there is a mass of fog here at Coulter Field. Fisk. You see Abbott really playing the Princeton defense here with three attackers up and one midi kind of just hanging back there, but not really doing a whole lot. You, as an attackman, you get your break when the ball's on the other side of midfield, which Lennoxville now has in possession here. Noseworthy. Ball's on far left, and again, here you see the matchup, the strategy. Anytime the opposing team has a short stick out there, side deer on attack. Side deer in high school last year, 15 goals in three GMAA games, so I'd say he's all right as he picks it up here. The kick out, and now they're going to try it again. They got four pulls out there, does Abbott, but Lennox will looking for that switch. Deer, odd X right. Sai looking. And he's got a shorty on him, but an illegal pick called on Lennoxville. We're going Abbott. That's unfortunate for the Cougars because Abbott had a short stick on one of their attackers. Now the Islanders looking to transition. Quick shot, and that's kicked aside. And it went out of bounds somewhere in that massive fog on the far side behind X. First shot of the game either way, and it's an early save. Abbott calling for Yellow to try and get a late man onto the field. And that's the universal code in any field lacrosse or box lacrosse for hold the ball out, sag it, let our teams change. Now ball's at X left. 
Here's a shot, and that is blocked. And it's intercepted by the Cougars, and back comes Lennox. Duval. Tiptoes the sidelines and gets it out to Deer, who picks it back out in front. Here's an open look and a shot. What a stop! And a rebound, kick back out, and a second chance opportunity possibly coming up for Lennoxville. They have the ball at X left, or top left, sorry. Now it's behind the goal, and back at X. Deer. Deer keeps it. And they've got a shorty on him right now. Lennoxville getting some fresh troops out there. Dave Parry's defense deciding not to go for the er a quick double there. Deer. And here's Ethan Drake with possession. Drake shakes off the long pole and drops back up to the 40. Sends it down low. They're not able to get a shot off. Back out, Drake has a cannon and he misses the net. No one backing up at X Abbott possession. And you'll have to excuse me because I really have to zone in to see the ball, especially when it's on the far side of the field due to all that fog out there. Abbott beat Bray Buff in their last game 11-1. So Abbott 4-0 on the season, a win here, clinches first place for the Islanders and a berth in the championship game regardless. Yeah. And they score! Yeah. 1-0 <laughs> Abbott. Josh McGrath gets the reception and the finish. So that goal comes about eight minutes into this quarter. It's obviously a little bit different than the last game last week and the game before that. Lennoxville was up 7-0 over Bray Buff and 5-0 over Dawson at the end of the first quarter. That's not going to be the case tonight. We all knew that. The defending champion Cougars and defending finalist Islanders. And it's a short stick. There you see Lennoxville trying to get that island match up there and a the shot goes wide. But again, that's exactly the bread and butter of the Cougars. We saw that against Bray Buff a couple of weeks ago. Anytime you have a short stick on a midi or an attacker, they're going at it. And they're going right for it. And here you see again, Hong, it looks like number six, trapped out on an island, one-on-one -on -one up there. And now they switch, and now it's a two-on-two -two up there, basically with two shorties for the Ab Islanders. And here you see the slide. Ball's at X left, or top left now. And that is an excellent job by Dave Parry's troops of making that slide. Ball out of bounds, and it'll be Abbott possession. Islanders won, Cougars no score. Abbott, if they lose this game, even by just one goal, they will own the head-to-head -head tiebreaker against the Cougars. And that is picked off. Here's a feed. And Cy Deer corrals it. Deer. Looking to attack. Puts on the brakes. One on one matchup on the near side. Deer back outside. Looks like noseworthy on the far side. Spinning. Ball swallowed up by the tender. And the Islanders are in control.
Abbott one, Lennoxville two nothing. About ten minutes into this first quarter, and side here it gets into a huge matchup. Two sixes colliding there. High pass, flag down on Deer. It looks like as both side Deer and Thomas Hong matching sixes, going to close quarters. Ball knocked out of the stick. 30-second technical on Lennoxville. Islanders in control. Remember, this is a 30 second technical. There's a shot that is blocked and it drifts out of bounds. Fresh possession for the Islanders. I was going to say fresh 30, but this ain't box. Comes out up top. And that might have, oh, Fitz got away with one maybe there. Back up top. Nicholas. And it's now six on six. Penalty's over. High pass, corralled in. And the Islanders are on a change. McGrath lost Drake and Fisk with the recovery. And there's a lead pass to Ethan Drake across midfield. Lennoxville in transition, practical four, partial four on three for the Cougars. Out in the middle, and the pass handcuffed the intended target. There's a good hit by one of the Islanders who just came onto the field, and a push on the back on Lennoxville. Oh, it's on Abbott, sorry. Because of the fact that it's a penalty rather than a possession. Well, Lennoxville will have possession on the man advantage. For those of you who can't see all that well here, I am sorry, but if I had the opportunity to close to control the weather, I'd be doing something else in terms of my career. Nice fake by Drake, and he is turned away by Botto. A rebound back out in the Cougars corral it. Drake out in front. Deer mishandled the pass. I don't know how people could see that in there. Hey, look, that's exactly what people are lo we're looking at over here, folks. Ball's on the far sideline, if you can't see. Ball squirts free, and there's a nice hit thrown. Oh, firm, but not fair. Possession ball, a possession goes to Abbott here as the penalty to the Islanders has expired. Both teams 0 for 1 on the power play. Ball's at X left. McGrath, the goal scorer. There's a shot. And that is corralled. I, I'm not going to lie, I did not know where that ball went for a second. Ball's at X though, goalie has it. Pass up the side, Deer, who corrals it on the hop. Deer gets one over, and Lennox Hill brings it across. One nothing Abbott leading. I think the ball came loose somewhere over there, but Cougar, the Cougars pick it up. I'm sorry, I'm at the mercy of the fog here. Ball's at X right, and we've got a war, war, warding off call on Lennoxville. Who's hugging me? Oh, I know who it is. What's up, baby girl? One nothing Abbott. The Islanders bring it across midfield. 
Abbott going for a fresh change here, trying to get some fresh troops out there. one nothing. Islanders leading. Ball squirts free, drifting towards us here. And that'll head out of bounds. Last touch by Yellow. We're going Cougars ball. Xavier Fisk will take it. And that high-powered Cougars offense, which has scored 44 goals combined over two games, held to nothing right now when we're 15 minutes plus into this one. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where that ball is right now. I think the ball, the tender has it right now. Yeah. Fisk knocks it down. Xavier Fisk calls off his man. Back to the tender. Feed out to Dupal. And it squirts free. Fisk picks it up though. Fisk up for deer. That's too high. Good job. Side deer keeps it alive. I think this is the kind of weather that Dawson or Bray Buff would hope for against Abbott or Lennoxville. I want me. I want Dada. Uh, as you can hear, I have a fan Dada. by my side. As the Cougars bring it in, shot, not on. What? Uh, I want to get a new one. I want to get a new one. I'm in the game, please. Hang on. Cougars pick it up. Drake to Deer. Deer kicks it out. Ball's behind the goal. 17, uh, three minutes left about in this first quarter running time. one nothing Abbott on top. Good slide. Shot! That stop by Botto. And he keeps it out. I used to make saves with the body all the time too. And they don't ask you how you did it. They ask you how many you stopped. As the Islanders look to break out. Ball knocked out. Big hit. Abbott picks it up. And they bring it across midfield, up by a score of 1-0. But Grath has the only goal up to this point. And there's a huge hit, but an illegal one. And Lennoxville will be penalized. I'm not going to lie. I don't know who's in the penalty box, but someone for the Cougars is. Your, your guess is as good as mine at this point. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Abbott up 1-0. Islanders 0 for 1 on the power play. Their last power play was a technical. This is a personal. So if they score and there's still time on that penalty, they're going to be able to go right back up. I would not be surprised if they took a timeout right away. And they score! Number 11 scored, I think. I had to, I, I got the advantage of zooming in. <laughs> Maxwell Sharella has made it two nothing Islanders. What do you want? What do you want, baby? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, paper. Here. All right, Lennox will in possession of the ball. Down to the final minute or so of this first quarter. Lennoxville, three shots on net. They have not been able to score. 
Trailing 2-0. Drake to Deer. Side Deer. Spins off the pole. Gets a shot away. Botto. I'm not sure if he got a piece of it, but the Cougars were backing it up. That's it. Quarter time. What a quarter for Dave Parry's troops. Abbott 2, Lennoxville 0. End of quarter number one. Second quarter underway, the Islanders and Cougars. Here at Coulter Field in Lennoxville. Abbott 2, Lennox 0. Benjamin Klayma on the near side. Back behind the goal. Lamouche. Or LaRoche, sorry. Ball's on the far side. Good feed. There's a shot. Good stop by Bottle. Come on, Ben. Ball's at X. There's a shot. Score. Benjamin Claymaw has put Lennoxville on the board. It's two to one. I had to zoom in to see the 19, but I saw it. Oh, this stadium just went quiet. <laughs> At least they're listening to me and to him and not me. Lennox will on the board. It's two to one. And the Cougars pick it up. In transition, they come. Shot. Nobody home. <laughs> Cougars scoop it up. Oh, Abbott ball. Ball in the middle of the field, retrieved by the Cougars. Shot. All right, so we're in a dog fight here. Bang, bang, we're back even 2-2. Two, two. All even 2-2. Two, two. That was due for, by the way, with the first goal for the Cougars. And now we're all even here, 2-2. Two, two. Three and a half gone by in quarter number two. <laughs> Back up top, Nico Greer. This is what I like. This is what I like to see from Dave Parry. They got a long pole isolated up top rather than a short stick. That's what Lennoxville was able to do so well against Bray Buff a couple of weeks ago. Feed Queer and that hit a leg. And the Islanders out to break. Shirarella. Shirarella puts on the brakes. And the Islanders in no hurry. Oh, I don't know what happened to my camera there, but we're back. All right. Ball's at X right. Up top. Come on, boys. Get him. 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 Get him.
Ball squirts free. And it's intercepted by the Cougars. Back out. And that rolls on goal, and the Islanders retrieve it. And look at the Islanders bringing a shorty out here. Midfield. He's going to try to break it out here. And it's thrown away, and Lennoxville will scoop it up here. Well, I know the Islanders will not accept accept it, but if they do, if Lennoxville wins this game by only one, Abbott wins the regular season head-to-head -head tiebreaker. It was a 9-7 Islanders win back in St. Anne de Bellevue in the season opener. And these two teams, that was the only game that anybody has played this year that was not decided by double digits. Even Bray Buff won their head-to-head -head meeting with Dawson 16 to 4. There you go, a shot blocked, did not get to the goal. There's a chance score! Okay, now that we're back to the action on the field, uh, Lennoxville has taken the lead. It's 3 2. Picked up. Three to two Lennox. Twelve thirty left in this second quarter. Claymore. Ripper score. Nico Greer, four unanswered, and Abbott, who started this game up 2 0, have given up four in a row. And that is a possession call, which will go Lennoxville's ball away. Back up top. Up top. There's a shot. No one home. Ball will be at X. The Cougars will bring it in. And the Cougars are making a switch. Drake was the midi pole, and he's coming off. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Ball's at X left, right. And now the ball is Zach up top. There's a shot, no one home. And the Cougars backing it up, they'll get there first. We're halfway through the second quarter. There's a shot blocked. Greer. Cert sags back out. And Greer has it here. One on one with a shorty. Blows by him. Greer shoots. Scores! Five unanswered for the Cougars. <laughs> and if I'm Dave Parry, I might be thinking about taking a timeout here to settle the troops down. That's a great idea. Five unanswered from the Cougars. <laughs> I'm a Dawson guy, I have no rooting interest. That's my go-to phrase of the night. <laughs> Except when anyone plays, plays Bray Boeuf, please beat him. As the Islanders scoop it up here. And we have Nazi. That might be a flag. It, need, it is a flag. That's 30 seconds. Push on the back. <laughs> Let's see if Abbott could try to turn this thing back up. The Islanders had really just taken total control in that first quarter, but since then, I mean, Lennox, five on answer to go up by three. This is the biggest deficit the Islanders have faced all season, but on the power play here. Good spin. Here's the look. They slide it over. Open, and that is stopped by Sinalot. Sinalot made the save. And he's got it now. Hey, where are you going? And now Drake flicks one up. Willie ain't looking for it. McGrath with the hit, but the Cougars pick it up. Claymont back up to Greer. And Greer makes his way across midfield. That was a 30-second technical, so that penalty is going to be ending soon, I would imagine. Maybe already has, but I can't see if there's six blues out there. Now there's a six blue. <laughs> Ball's on the far side. Ball at right. That's what the goalie would be saying. Greer has a shorty on him, I think. I can't even tell right now the fog's that thick. Even though it looks like it's... Knock on wood, getting a little better. Ball's at X. Dupont. Back here, hold her back here. Baby girl. Cougars. <laughs> Someone's calling me, as you all hear. 5-2 Lennox leading. Greer slides it out. Noseworthy. Lonexville with possession of the ball at X right. Picked up, pass out in front, and that is stripped. Cougars do scoop it up though. Drake resets. Greer behind the net. The slide was there. Dupont spins out. Shot. That he might have hit iron. Good slash. 
Back up top, there's a look score! Queer! And it's 6 2. And this is a good timeout by Dave Parry. 15 minutes gone by in the second quarter, and the Cougars have scored six unanswered to go up by four. Back here at the second quarter, about five minutes left to go. Cougars six, Islanders two, Abbott. There is a yard sale on Fridays in Lennoxville. Cross midfield. And here they come. Shot. Brassois, the stop. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. No, the pink bag. Out in front it comes. There it is. Ripped wide. Amelia, the pink bag. The score. 6 2 Lennox so leading here. With about four minutes left in the second quarter. Clema being ridden out. Drops it back. Tardif. <laughs> and here's a move. Shot. Score! Drake! Amelia, do not do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna fall, okay? Just walk, don't jump, baby. Ethan Drake scores and the Cougars are on a 7-0 run here in the second quarter. Like we said before, we speculated, we knew this, uh, Lennoxville more than any other team in the league, the difference between them at home versus being on the road is massive. And the Cougars win it. There's a lead pass, but it's led a bit too far. That's out. That's out. That is out. Good job by Nolan Howard, number 17, the long pull for Abbott. And the Islanders bring it back. Girarella, nice move to get into Lennoxville territory. Puts on the brakes, Girarella. Back up top, they fake the pass, balls at X. Girarella has one of the two goals for the Islanders. Back up top to him. And now you see he's got a shorty on him. That's oh, a pull. Slide. Shot. Wow. What a stop. By the tender. Siladet. Making the save as Abbott attempted to go five hole. Noseworthy. Push on the back, possession. And right now we are down to probably the last minute of the second quarter. Balls at X. 
There's the return feed. Claymore. Claymore. Driving by. Claymore. Claymore. Down low. And if that was a left handed shot, that could have been something. I pass. Settle in. There cannot be that much time left in this first half. Crease violation. Cougars. Abbott will get possession here. I got it. Stolen! Lennox still has to get a shot off here. The first half's coming to an end. Out in front, Claymore spinning. Claymore out in front, shot, big stop. They score! It goes in! Eight two. <laughs> well, technically, that is that should be a penalty, but. If I was a referee, I'd just pretend not to understand English right there. Wow! What a second quarter for the Lennoxville Cougars. Abbott was up 2-0 after 20. Lennoxville scoring eight in that 20-minute span to take an 8-2 lead at the end of the first half. Third quarter underway here in Lennox, Vegas, where the Cougars definitely hit the jackpot in that second quarter, scoring eight in a row to take an 8-2 lead, but that halftime may have given the Abbott Islanders a little bit more time to gather themselves. Amelia, put that down. My computer's in there. Islanders, bring it back. There's an open look shot. Not on. Balls at X left. Good feed out in front. That was a clap, and the goaltender might have gotten a piece of it. Islanders ball. Oh, Cougars ball. Okay, Cougars ball. Still a debt. Fisk. Drake to Deer. Deer. One on one. That is a trip. And Lennox will go to work on the power play. Let's go, Cougar! Side here. Slides it out. Open look, shot, score! Drake has the hat trick and the Cougars are on a 9-0 run. Baby, I'm filming. By the way, since the goal was scored on a personal, the Cougars are still on the power play. A one minute personal penalty. The penalty is not released until the time is expired. On a technical penalty, it's released on a goal. And that was a one minute personal for a trip. And the Cougars have it, but Abbott does have a six man return, so the power play is over, but the Cougars did score on the personal. 
as Nico Greer. Noseworthy, I believe. It's your guess, some left-handed player for the Cougars over there. You can't see any numbers. Cy Deer has it here. Deer runs it over on the near sideline. Deer. Eat up, Paul! Ball's at X. Chan defending his man, but now it's Deer picking it up against Horvat, trying to go at him. Makes the move. And that pass is dropped. We have a possession call coming up against the Islanders, Lennox O'Ball. And the Cougars in possession here. 9 2 Lennox. Ball's at X right. And that pass is a little bit too low, and it goes onto the other side of midfield. Back over on the Cougars. Oh, she'll love that. Ball's at X right. And the Islanders bring it out. Driving. And that lane to the goal was quickly cut off by the Cougars defenders. Siladet. Bounces it to Fisk. Fisk back behind the net for his tender. With McGrath riding the tender in the pole. Mine is sending. <laughs> Fisk lobs it back and <laughs> balls on the far side. And the Cougars obviously in no hurry. McGrath riding the press and he's doing a good job, but the ball is passed out to Fisk. Fisk. Ball dropped. Ball squirts free. Cy Deer gets the pass. Cy bounce, uh, sends one over. Deer got free. Deer. Let's it go, and that is off. <laughs> Cougars backing it up, though. Deer. And here's Greer, who has two for the Cougars. Greer. And that is thrown away, and it'll be Abbott possession. I'll tell you what, you could do a lot of things in 33 minutes. That's how long the Islanders have left in this ball game. Uh, get a ball from GLE. Get a ball from goal line. A 7-0 a lead is, uh, or seven goal differential is nothing in field across. Especially when you have 30 plus minutes of action left. And the Islanders bring it in. Ooh, that, that, that was, should have been a flag. Ball squirts free and it's hockeyed up. And away come the Cougars, three on three. They're going to just drag this one out and get a possession here. Greer. Cougars call a timeout. Lennoxville leading Abbott nine to two in possession of the ball here. Balls at X left. 
Peltier in front of the goal. Dupont with the pass. Greer. Nico Greer in the middle. Ball squirts. I thought it would square free. Dupont trying to drag it out. Got knocked down. Good slide by Horvat and the Islanders scoop it up. There's a pass shot. Blocked before it got to the goal. And the Islanders control it. Mononen in possession. He kicks it out. Turarella. Turarella. Good slide. Score! And that makes it 9 3. Ryan O'Neill gets the goal. A 9 0 run is broken. And the Islanders are within six. Like we said, though, I mean, still got about 10 minutes left in this third quarter. Like, there's really, it's anything possible. You still got 30 minutes. It takes, what, six seconds to score a goal and field across from the faceoff thought. I would know because it happened to me when I was playing for Dawson when they were really bad. Put your hat on. Or, put your hat on. Abbott. Play on, so Lennoxville. Abbott in possession. It's a push on the back. That's a good call. And now we got a whistle. Moving pick on the Abbott on the Islanders. One for, one deserves another, I guess, in terms of turnovers. Nine three Lennoxville leading. Fisk bounces one to the far side for his defense partner. Defense partner, that's hockey, but you have three pulls, sometimes four on the field at the same time. Ball squirts free, good check. And the Cougars get it back. Peltier takes his spot in front of that Abbott goal. Drake. Drake, back out. Deer. Passes it off. Tardif behind the Abbott goal. Tardif burns him. Flag down. Out in front. And that shot is wide of the goal. <laughs> Illegal cross check on the Islanders. <laughs> Brussois made the save, I believe, on the bouncer. I'm just giving him credit for the save because I'm a goalie and I can't actually see through the fog if that hit him or not. <laughs> Drake, Greer, Hurts Breeze, Lennoxville with four righties out there and two lefties. Island has brought two out. This could be trouble. Greer, not on. Big save, Nick. <laughs> There's a slide. Greer out in front. That pass handcuffed one. Or handcuffed Peltier, it looked like, and the Cougars scoop it back up here. And the feed will go towards the near sideline. Greer. Out in front. There's a drive. Score! Tardif, power play goal, 
All right, so Hong and Deer are both going off for swearing. All I heard is it's a big you-know-what kind of party out there. And For those of you at home, you know that uh, I've caught s several instances of swearing. That's what happened. By the way, a goaltending change for Abbott. Nicholas Taylor is in for the Isles. <laughs> All right, so we're playing five on five. We'll see what happens with all that space out there. And Drake taking the draw with the pole. And away comes Lennox, though. Remember, it's five on five right now. Claymont brings it out. And the Cougars scoop it up. Ball goes out of bounds. And a flag! Come on! On Abbott. And Howard's going to the box one minute for unnecessary roughness, and Lennoxville will get the very rarely practiced five on four power play. Now it's six on five as the two number sixes, Hong and Deer, are back on the field. I'll tell you what, if they were playing football in this weather, good luck finding a punt. <coughs> Deer, who's got the ball up top now. <laughs> Tardif. Down low, Drake finishes. Power play goal, Lennoxville, 11 3, Cougars. About four minutes to go in the third quarter. And right now, Lennox still in control of this one. And not only that, they have the tiebreaker right now if these two teams finish with the same record. So there's a lot on the line here. Cougars scoop it up. Drake drags it out. Drake sends the one over. Side here now. Back out on the near side. Going up against O'Neill. Or not O'Neill, but Clema. Nice move by Greer. And that shot misses. Those sides of the back of the net are really effective because they're holding the balls in play, or at least in the field versus, you know, going beyond somewhere on the road. I'm just kidding. I don't remember what's on that side. I just know that on the far side there are hills because I played a game here way back when with Dawson. Side deer. Sent it out. Ball's at X left. Deer gets the pass along the ground.
Sorry, back out to Greer. Greer turns his shorty around. Greer driving in, kicks it out. Out in front. There's a shot by Deer, and that hits something. And the Cougars will scoop it up. And this is really anticipated to be the championship game or a preview of it unless Bray both pull something out of left field. It's this is probably going to be these two teams going at it for the final. Been a hectic season with uh, Trois Rivier pulling out two weeks before the end of the season. And we got a flag on Abbott. Two flags. Daddy. 30 second technical for a hold and a one minute personal for a slash. That is the end of the third quarter. <laughs> so the Cougars were up 8-2 at halftime and they've outscored the Islanders 3-1 in the third quarter to take an 11-3 lead into quarter number four. We're coming back from Lennoxville right after this. Back here in the fourth quarter, Lennoxville 11, Abbott 3. We've played about 30 seconds here in the fourth quarter. Fisk. And that was a near suicide pass as Abbott was changing. And the Islanders scoop it up. That was very loud. And a high pass. Sorry, Anthony, you're not getting a save for that. Oh, I would not want to be catching this pass. I'll tell you what, I was down at field level in between quarters. And it's just as bad being out there as it would be up here. Pass in front, and that is stopped. Good stop by Taylor. <laughs> and the Islanders. Taylor. <laughs> Here's Howard. <laughs> and the Islanders scoop it up here. Shirarella, who has one of the three Islanders goals tonight. <laughs> or Sove, Ryan Sove, of course. We saw him playing with the Cooper Kodiaks. They played against Survival in the GMA AA Championship back in June. There's a shot which will not hit the goal. And Good back up, Josh. Way to be there. <laughs> Good job by McGrath to back that one up. McGrath looking to challenge. The Rock got inside position and got spun out. That's Claymaw, sorry, on defense number 22. <laughs> <laughs> Brought back out. There's a shot. Not on. Here we go, Nico. That's Greer, the midi, with uh, some nice defense on Steinwald. Mononen. Chilton kicked it out. Ball's on the left hand side of the goal. Back out. Chilton behind the goal. Good slide. And Siladet is not going to get there first. Oh, maybe. He was in the end zone. 
I thought Nicholas was there first, but instead. There's a pass which is caught on the far side. I heard something loud down there, but I couldn't see it. Apparently there's something thrown. I believe there is a penalty there. I didn't I didn't see what happened, but I heard what happened, and I'm assuming we're gonna go with the slash here. And it looks like the fog is only getting worse out here. I think Bray Brooker Dawson really could have used these weather conditions when they played against either one of these two teams. Now they work it around. Ball's at X left. Comes out, open look. And that is blocked. There's a pass in front, they score. Sly Deer gets his first of the night. Cougars up 12 3. And I beg your pardon, Sly, but can't really see a whole lot with all that fog down there. But. Wow. And the Cougars scoop it up. And Drake puts on the brakes. <laughs> Noseworthy, back behind the goal. Tardif. I swear the ball's on the far side of the net right now. Oh my goodness. I swear the ball's on the far side of the net right now. <laughs> that shot missed and hit one of the one of the banners in the back. Who <laughs> were souping it up? Noseworthy. Yeah, I'll fix it. Oh, first? Dude, I missed the ball already. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I'll get your blanket. Back behind the net for Tardif. Now we're ready. Pass out. And the ball gets back up to about the 45. And some pushing and shoving going on. And a little extra shot. <laughs> I think that's an indication that the ball is going to Lennoxville. Wow. Cougars have possession I, uh, somewhere. <laughs> Deer, back out in front. Noseworthy, I think, got a shot away. Wow. Ball's at the top right. Pass out. Intercepted by Abbott. We got a whistle. 
Lennoxville will pick it up as the ball went out of bounds on the shot. This is <laughs> this is unbelievable. I feel like I'm in San Francisco. If you want to go with the hidden ball trick, you might as well do it now because nobody could see anything anyway. <laughs> Slide across. There's a shot. Save by Taylor. Oh. There's a huge hit at midfield, and the Islanders pick it up. They triple team, and Abbott breaks out of it. Flag down. Score! I am really sorry. I have no idea who scored that. But I know they scored. <laughs> Tell you what, that was like uh, a running back running over a linebacker with three, three Cougars back on the fence. So we're halfway through this fourth quarter. This is unbelievable. I, I cannot see, like we're gonna try to take a shot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is that is the Abbott bench. Exactly. You can't see anything. <laughs> I know Abbott has the ball at the 50 yard line right now. Never mind, it's not there anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, Abbott has it at the four. I'm not gonna lie, I've I don't I don't know how y'all could see that down there. It's taken there's a pass that goes somewhere in the vicinity of just try take a guess. I think it went out. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I saw it in the dark. I see it in the dark. <laughs> Even my kid says she could see in the dark. This is this is unbelievable. <laughs> I've been in possession. I'm sorry. I cannot see who that is on the far side. Good job. Unless they have the ball on the near sideline, I am probably not going to be able to see it. If still a, Anthony, if you have the ball, just take a knee and kill the last seven minutes of this game. Siladet has the ball. Siladet sends it over to Drake. Drake behind his own goal. What are you guys even watching about? Drake. Ball is uh, picked up near the the bench, which is on the far side of the field. Ball on the near side, that's noseworthy. 
I think. Maybe. Pass out in front. There's a bounce shot which will sail wide and Lennox will have possession. <laughs> Okay, so I do see number 12 for Lennox, so Liam Noseworthy. And I think this one is picked up. Yep, it's going to be picked up by Sove. Shoot it! Sove, you might as well shoot, because hey, who knows? Shoot and make sure it's not on the ground. It's a fly! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got under six minutes left here. Nico Greer catching it. All right, guys, as long as you stay on this side, the fans will be good. Everyone, just huddle up on the along the side near sidelines, please. It's George. It's George. It's George. All right, folks, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea where the ball is right now. <laughs> I even went down to to field level, and you can literally, you cannot see where the ball is. <laughs> Help us, what's happened? I was on I was on the field level too just before this and I could not see a thing. Stalls on. <laughs> Maybe the ball's at the 10. 12-4 by the way, Lennox so leading. I could run on the field right now and they would know this. <laughs> The coronavirus is going to end as soon as we can see the benches. <laughs> Which is not going to be anytime soon, clearly. <laughs> Feet out in front. <laughs> Stuffed out. And the Cougars scoop it up. <laughs> Noseworthy. On the near sideline. Noseworthy. <laughs> Tiptoe along the sidelines. Who knows? Oh, that's that's a big slash. <laughs> oh wow! Noseworthy dodging one, and he got laid out. And there's another hit after the fact, and we can see this through the fog. We can see this through the fog. Somebody hit somebody! <laughs> Just be sure that the guy you're grabbing is wearing a different jersey. That's all we ask for up here, because you never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I believe we have three minutes left. The penalties are being sorted out. I honestly cannot tell you how many players are sitting in the box or either side. Let's try to get a close up of this uh, penal of the penalty box here. Okay. Uh, I could see one guy in the box or Lennoxville. One guy in the box or Abbott. That's all I could see right now. So we're going to focus on how many players are on the field. <laughs> or if that... Two, three, four, five, six. I think it looks like it's five on five right now. I can all the next minute it's just gonna be gold gold. Oh, we got 
about a three minute on Sports and Lake. Someone just got thrown out of the game. <laughs> Is that the is that one of the coaches? I think that's one of the coaches that are being thrown out. I think so. I don't know who it is though. Someone though is thrown out of the game. Come up here and see with us. Maybe you'll be able to see what we can see. But considering I, I hear a familiar voice down there. I'm going to assume it's Abbott. I think timeout might have been called because we would be in the final minute right now if it wasn't. And I know there's stop time with two minutes called, uh, two minutes left in the quarter, but. At this point in time, John Abbott would need to score six goals in a row with to make it 12-10, which would make the tiebreaker all square. Again, Abbott won 9-7 the first head-to-head -head meeting. Lennox will up 12-4 here. And there's, I'm going to assume, two minutes left in this game. All right. No racing yet to walk. As a lovely woman named Gwen Stefani once said, this is bananas. B A N A N A S. <laughs> I think this might be a good time to break out those yellow or orange lacrosse balls. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so Lennoxville has the ball. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And the Cougars beat the Abbott Islanders 12 4 in the Fog Bowl. Lennoxville wins it 12 4. Sure. Yes. <laughs> uh, Abbott was up two nothing after the first, and then Lennoxville exploded on an 8-0 run in the second quarter, and then added to their lead 11-3 before the fourth quarter. We saw it. side here score for Lennoxville, and I'm sorry, but someone scored for Abbott, and I did not get your number. I don't think anybody in the stadium did, including the referees. So the Cougars. And Islanders are all square in the standings, but Lennoxville now has the head-to-head. -head. So that means, remember, the second-place team will play against the third-place team in the semis. The fourth-place team will miss the playoffs, and the first-place team will have a direct bye into the gold medal game. Near final from Lennox Vegas, Cougars 12, Islanders 4. Have a good night.